again, friends. It has been a couple of days since they harvested corn. So this morning I am going to walk the sheep out to the cornfield and show them all the goodies that are on the ground for them and, and try not to get wet. So, but I wanted to show you this. I just pulled in and I'm parked outside the barn and it is cute. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but right in there is Maggie laying down and all of her sheep are laying behind her. <laughs> that makes my heart so happy. I had to take that from the truck because I know as soon as I open the door, they're all going to stand up and start yelling at me because they're hungry. <laughs> Told ya. They look pretty happy. Good morning, Maggie. You guys ready to go outside? Okay, so I'm gonna cut that green gate open and swing it this way and then hopefully I'll be able to just have everybody... Why are you coughing? That was weird. Hopefully everyone will follow me out and we'll just walk straight across the field to the corn. That's our plan. Well, they went out pretty easy, but they turned and went that way on the barn, and we need to go that way. So I'm going to go get them. I don't mind that they went the wrong way, but I don't want them to discover this good hay. And I don't want them to destroy these bales, which right now they're just eating around them. But... We're going to head to the cornfield. Maybe I won't have to do anything. They're so goofy. I don't know why they're running. So if you watched the last video, they finished corn harvest a couple days ago and then when they got that completely done and that stuff put away, Levi came out and bush hogged or mowed down all the big corn stalks. Um, and back here at Rocky Knob where there were a lot of ears that had fallen or corn that just ended up on the ground for one reason or another. So between the corn stalks and the corn on the ground. There's hopefully a couple days worth of feed in here for them. And we'll let them kind of stretch their legs one last good time for before the winter and save us a bale. They found it.
all on their own. I need to get Maggie's collar fixed. Well, I'll show you a little bit. This is what I'm talking about. That this ear is not even off the stock. So I don't know if that stock was just blown over or if the deer were in here and knocked a bunch down and stuff, but there's lots of corn out here and they'll work on these corn stalks for a few days and be happy sheep. I see right here that I'm gonna have to kind of keep an eye on them. I was hoping to not have to put fence back up after I took it all down so that they could get the corn off. But I don't, we don't want them in this hay field anymore. So I'm hoping that they're just kind of exploring for the moment and they'll come back into the corn with everybody else. There's only a couple of them out there. Um, but they don't need to be in that hay field anymore. So I've decided that I am, I am going to block the front end of the barn off where Levi and I come in and out and that way they can't get to those good square bales. Um, and I'll leave this far end of the barn open so if they want to they can go back in and rest but I don't think they will. Um, so I'm going to go up here and do that and that'll be it for today. So I didn't think about that Maggie's food is in here um, and I want her to be able to get inside and eat. So I think I'm going to try I think I'm going to try something different and use our um, handling system panels to just kind of set up a barricade around it and then that's all just manure and straw and stuff that needs picked up and they should be all right so well no they won't be all right because there's moldy corn on the ground that i don't want them to get shoot Mags, I think I'm going to have to put your food outside. Will you be alright? Yeah? Okay, good talk. I guess I am just going to put Maggie's food outside. It'll only be for a couple days. She'll be outside anyways with them um, when I leave. So, I guess I'm going to put her food outside and block this door off. I got the doorway blocked off and again I just did that because I don't it doesn't bother me that they would be in here if I could block the hay off and the barn were clean but it's not clean from when we had those market lambs in here over the summer and there's a bunch of spilled corn and stuff on the ground that's now moldy and I do not want them to eat that because it would probably make them sick so that's why I had to block the door off and put Maggie's food outside. It's only for a couple days though. She'll be all right. She's a polar bear anyway. She doesn't mind any cold or wind or rain or anything. 
It's a long way back there, but you can kind of see them at the crest of the hill. They're all in the cornfield except for a couple. So we're going to keep an eye on that. And that's all I've got for today. I'm going to head back in and make lunch. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.